Okay, y'all, so check it out. So we know that this, the deck right here, this is the mower that Drew runs, and we know the pitch on this deck right here is, you know, it's too far, the rake is too much. So what I'm gonna do now is, see, well, well you see that the rake is too much, y'all. Y'all see that, right? Okay, so you see in the back right here, I cannot go any further that that I mean I can't I can't move that nut any more any further up so and when you take it up the deck goes down okay so and I can't move this any further down to bring the front up so what I'm gonna do and we're just gonna try this out because we got some big cuts tomorrow uh, is I'm gonna put some spacers in here uh, up underneath. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this bolt off and I'm gonna back this thing right here out. And then I'm gonna put spacers underneath underneath this. See. And man, I, I would like to put two under there. But I think one might do it. That that might be all I need. That right there. Uh, so yeah. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Hey y'all, look at that man. Y'all see the difference there? Look. <laughs> and that's just one of them. I think that's gonna do it, man. We're gonna try that tomorrow. I'm gonna take, tomorrow, I'm gonna take, we got a big field to cut. Uh, me and Zach, I'm gonna take uh, this mower and this X mower, and I'm gonna leave the skag here. So, yeah man, uh, I like that y'all. That's, and the thing about it is, if that pitch is too uh, is not enough, I can adjust it because I got it. I got the bolt all the way down, and all I got to do is back it up just a little bit to lower the deck. So I can create more of a pitch if I want to. Dude, I like that man. I think it's going to cut better. Yeah, but I'm still going to buy twelve tires for this mower. I still am because I want to put, put twill tire. I want to put those twills right there back on the skag right there. So, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in today, man. Peace out. to do two yards Drew's only got to do one right, right. so y'all gonna be over there over there uh, waiting on me you know right, yeah. uh, but y'all uh, I mean Drew will be over there waiting on me you know because right. uh, he should he'll probably be us over there I mean I don't know I mean, right. we got two to do and he's got one right. I mean we might be able to get them both done by the time he the first one that we're going to do is one in uh, where Drew is going, you know, right. in the in the country club. In the country club, yeah. and that one, will, that was pretty easy, yeah. you know. The trick to that one is I need you to weed eat the back. Go on the back and pull the back porch off and weed eat, okay. because there ain't nothing, there ain't there ain't no sense in me having to take the mower to the back. Right, right. You know, you should be able to weed eat, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then I can damn uh, work on the front, you know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like 
ever done out in the yard? I don't Not think the yard. yard. I, I, I think I've always cut it by myself. Yeah, it's real easy, dude. I saw it, yeah. And we don't do anything on that side where we had to lift at. Right. You know, we don't do nothing on that side, weed eating wise. All the weed eating is around the front door and around the back walk step, the back uh, pavers. Okay. You know, right. and so I go back there. I mean, I, I usually go back there with the uh, with the blower and just blow everything, and I weed eat everything and then blow everything, and then I mow. Because right. once I crank the mower up, I don't even go in the back. And the mower's dropping grass everywhere, so I don't want to make a big mess, you know, yeah. trying to creep up in the backyard when I know that you can weed eat it about right. as fast as I can get back there. Right. You know. Yeah. So you weed eat that backyard first and weed eat around those damn papers. Papers in the front door. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, we got a limb down for the customer there, man. And uh, I didn't, it didn't take us but a minute. I just charged 20 bucks, man. Yeah, he's got some more work. Maybe. Yeah, wow. and there's more work over there, you know. Uh, and then, y'all, look, I told these guys I'd let them have the 20. So, yeah. Ray's out there working for nothing, y'all. Mm. I'm going to make it up. I'm going to make it up on, yeah. I cut a few limbs for nothing. But I'm going I'm to make it up on the rest of the work. <laughs> Well, this damn 25 bales of straw, man, that is, to me, that is, I mean, that is just messed up, y'all. Yeah, 12 apiece. Yeah, That's and I might like spread two. About 10, 12 apiece. Yeah. yeah. But the good thing is, it's minimal cleanup right. on the lawn. Yeah. I mean, on the, uh, on the bushes. Right. Because, uh, well, we're putting pretty straw strong. down. Yeah. So you can pretty much, you know, blow it back up, back up under there and cover up with straw. Right. As long as it's not too big. Now, it would have been better if I had gotten the straw yesterday and I had already had the straw. Then that would put us way ahead of the game. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, but I don't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't have any straw down at Home Depot in Peachtree City. Right. So, uh, They got 300 and something bales at the Lowe's over here in Noonan, so that's not far from where we're going to be at. So, right. wasn't no point in me, you know. I need to make it where Drew can do uh, this is the one we're going to do now. That's more No. Uh, we're going to do, uh, uh, do this one first the and then it's going to last, yeah. yeah. The one where we get all the trees over there. Yeah, <laughs> all right, y'all, we'll kick back. Y'all see them stripes, man? Y'all see them stripes? That's the that's the skag, man. The skag lay nice lines, man. Y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see it or not. They're pretty defined, though. But I double cut it. I cut it this way, and then I lowered the deck a little bit lower and cut it this way. So, you know, and I got a little crooked right there. But uh, yeah, that looks good, man. That looks real good. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys. So we just got done with this one. Y'all see it? Uh, we we got a lot. We still got a pretty good bit to do. We got these uh, uh, twenty-five bales of pine straw that we're gonna put down too. So yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we we moving on to the next one, man. Moving on to the next one. Eleven o'clock, y'all. Eleven o'clock. This one right here, y'all, took us about twenty minutes, man. Peace out. All right, y'all. So uh, we did a little pine straw today. Uh, yeah, I'm having to work a little bit today. Drew, uh, Drew, Drew. I guess Drew had to go in early. I don't know what the deal was with Drew. He, he was on one property, a fifty dollar property. He was over there like an hour and forty five minutes. So by the time he got done with that property, we were at a point where I didn't hardly need him anymore today. Uh, so yeah. But uh, me and Dr me and Zach got the, the 30 bales of pine straw spread, got the crepe myrtles cut, got the bushes cut. We got two more we're gonna go do, and then we're gonna be done. And it's two o'clock now. So we will, uh, we'll be doing good today. So.
Yeah. Had to work a little bit harder than uh, than I wanted to, but you know, Ray gonna always do what he got to do for the business, man. You know. I didn't understand, you know, why it took Drew so long on that one property, but the GPS is, is saying an hour and uh, 48 minutes that he was at this one property. And that's a, that, and it's a $50 property. I can do that property by myself in 35 minutes flat. And that's everything. That's weed eating, spraying, mowing, and everything. I don't know what he's doing over there that's taking so long, but... It's unacceptable, man. I, you know, I can't, I can't pay uh, top dollar. I can't pay Drew a hundred or a hundred and twenty dollars in a day if he only generates a hundred dollars. I mean, you know, uh, today uh, when we on the way to that first to the first job, we I, we stopped and I got fuel, and uh, I spent let's see seventy in the truck. That he's driving and then another 20 in the mower that he's running so $90 in fuel and then we went to the first job and the owner came out there and didn't want us to didn't want Drew to cut the back or anything so really there was nothing really to do there and then the second job is, is, is where Drew went by himself and uh, was there an hour and 48 minutes and was still there, had not left in an hour and 48 minutes. Uh, so I just told him, I, you know, I just told him that hell, by the time you get over here where we're at, we're going to be done. The timing was not going to work out. He should have, he should have been able to beat me and Zach over to the, to this other, to, to the property that we had to do all the pine straw, you know. So if I'd have known that, then me and Zach could have done this whole route and we wouldn't have been any worse off, you know. You know, somebody, if you want to come out here and you don't want to work or, you know, then, then just don't come, you know, that's my thinking, you know, I don't like getting guys out here and they only realize that they, they really don't even want to be out here. They don't really want to work today for whatever reason. And that's fine. Just tell me because I'm, I'm expecting this and I'm getting that and, you know, I don't know, man. And this is about the second or third time that. Uh, I know said something to Drew about this one property that's taking him so long, you know. You just can't take that long on a property, man. No matter, no matter, and 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 you can't tell me nothing about the property. You can't tell me I, I ain't hearing anything about any uh, extenuating circumstances because I did the property for four years by myself, all alone, and never had any, and never was was never there even an hour, never. So, I've never, I'm, it's never taken me an hour to do that property. An hour and 40 minutes is like, like, it's like, did you take a nap or something? I mean, the efficiency is, is just, is just, just not there, man. You know, I don't understand why it's so difficult, you know got to be efficient man in order in order for me to want to pay you see i see uh today drew generated approximately uh i don't know the given the benefit of the doubt he generated a hundred dollars now how much of that hundred dollars am i supposed to give drew <laughs> you tell me See, it may, if I'd have known, it makes it where it wasn't even worth cranking the truck up today for. Because we ended up having to do all the hard stuff anyway. But that's how it is, man. Everybody want to come out here and work until they have to get out here and work. And then they, you know. I don't know, man. But me and Zach got done, you know. Uh, Ray's gonna always do what he has to do, and that's what you have to do as a business owner. You got to do what you need to do to to keep things rolling, uh, no matter what how uh, the guys that come out here work or don't work or how they are. You know, you just like for to be able to plan, you know, accordingly. So by the fact that Drew took that long on that property, that's gonna knock him out of the out of out of 
uh, uh, you know, any decent money today. It's also going to knock the business out of any decent money too, because the business can't finish everything that's on the list today, all because of that. And the guys that come out here and work, they're not going to come out here and do just the easy jobs where they're sitting on a mower and make top dollar while everybody else is doing the hard stuff. You know, you got to kind of, you got to kind of, you know, split it around. It's almost like Drew was just wasting time over there hoping that we would uh, uh, get to a point with that pine straw where he didn't have to come over there. And see, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not gonna. I, I don't. I don't. I don't like that, man. You know. And it'd be different if I didn't know the property that he was doing. It'd be different if I had never done the property by myself. You know. But uh, I've done the property for years by myself and uh, with somebody and. I can do it by myself in less than an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do it by myself in less than 45 minutes. So I don't know what Drew was doing over there for a whole hour and, and, and 48 minutes. That's what the GPS says. Well, and that's what I know because I talked to him and he was still there. I mean, you know, got to be sticking and moving out here to make money, man. You know, and when you're in the other truck and you got the other mower, you know, and 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 you're and you're making uh, decent money, you got to be cognizant of that. You got to be conscious of that. You got to be thinking of with a, with you with a clock in your head. Okay, I need to hurry up and get done with this one, you know, at a nice pace. So if you had to spend an hour over there, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. Then it, that 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 would have that would have been slow, but but I could have worked with that. But an hour and forty eight minutes? Oh no, I can't even think about it. that's that that's so far out of the realm of, of what needs to be that I'm thinking that it, that that uh, 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 that's, that's enough time to do a whole another job over there, you know. And sometimes, and I don't know if, if it, what's going on with Drew. But sometimes, in, in, in the time that I've been out here, I've seen guys that take a little bit longer, and 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 uh, you know, uh, doing a little something extra, and they get a tip. You know, nothing wrong with that. You know, I don't mind that. But you can't you can't double up. You can't you you can't take an hour longer and get get a twenty dollar tip. And then call it a tip because it's not a tip no more. Is you you're in my pocket then because you're holding this up on another job. All right, y'all. I'll kick back. All right, y'all. That's a wrap, man. Boy, what a day, man. It is hot, y'all. It's 96 degrees out here, man. That's what the truck says right there. 96. So today we got called up in some untypical work. Well, I already knew that we were going to be doing that work. Uh, you know, with the 30 bales of pine straw. Uh, yeah, I, and, and y'all know anybody that's been watching the channel for any period of time, y'all know, y'all know that I don't, uh, that I don't really like doing pine straw at all. And, uh, you know, but, uh, they were paying, uh, $10 a bale. So it's hard not to do it. Uh, I pay, uh, 380 a bale and I'm charging $10 a bale. So, you know, uh, yeah, so it's hard not to do it. It's lucrative enough. Now, I still, I, I still don't mean I want to do pine straw, but it kind of got messed up. You know, the day got kind of got messed up when it took Drew so long on that other job. Uh, and I might have to figure out why it's taking him so long over there. Uh, because it, that's just not um, acceptable. <laughs> so, But uh, but but we got me and Zach got everything on the list done. I mean, we actually got you know uh, everything done except for uh, one other one that we didn't get to, and that's just because I mean we ran out of time. Jeez, man, and it's hot, dude. You know, if uh, I could have if I could have kept Drew focused and everything, then 
Uh, we probably would have been done, you know, at 2.30 or so. It's 4 now. So, you know, uh, because three people doing 30 bales of straw is a whole lot quicker than two people. And then, see, I could have sent Drew to do uh, one of the easy properties, too. And, but once it took him so long on that one, the timing was going to be so screwed up that it wasn't even worth the gas anymore. So, uh, yeah. It's all right. It, it happens sometimes. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm so glad it's Friday, man. We definitely had to work a little harder. And we definitely didn't make as much money today as we should have, but I'm not going to, have to pay as much labor either. So, it, it, you know, uh, it's really to me, it's really all about just getting everything done, man. The money will come, you know. Uh, I don't really, you know, uh, once we get out here, man, I just want to get what I got on the list is done, done. And though we got pretty close, we didn't get it all the way done. <laughs> So yeah, I appreciate everybody, you know, responding and uh, commenting on the videos uh, here lately, you know. Uh, well, I'll give a big shout out to Jim over there at Indica Pressure Washing, you know. Uh, well, it's really Indica Home Services, but uh, he does a lot of pressure washing. But, he, but he's really a lot more than that. He's very uh, knowledgeable just in general about business. So... Uh, Y'all go check out his channel. It's Indica Home Services, y'all. And, uh, big shout out, Jim. Also known as the Dirty Lawn Thug, y'all. Anyway, y'all know what time it is. It's semi-time Friday. Peace out.